technology is only a way to solve and to improve the way we live in cities, to do new things. But you shouldn't start with the technology, you should start with, um, with what it could do and how it can solve old problems or new problems and help us to have a better urban life. I think there's a potentially revolutionary set of outcomes whereby the emergent self-organizing quality of, of these media and the emergent self-organizing quality of cities, which has been identified for uh, thousands of years, uh, will start to align and overlap. Computing is literally going to disappear into the everyday objects that we have because computing will be so inexpensive that you'll be able to put it anywhere. And that will create a new kind of culture that will be digital but we won't notice the digits. I think in the cities of the future one of the things that you're going to be seeing a lot more of are internet enabled everything. You're going to see things like the roadways having uh, chips embedded in them so that we can see how far traffic is backed up um, at, a, at a toll lane or, or all of the taxi cabs or all of the subway cars or all of you know all these kind of municipal things in a city that right now you can't really track very well uh, are, are suddenly going to be trackable. It's going to be a new way for cities to monitor and report back to their citizens. We're trying to improve cities by providing information to passengers. We're trying to make mass transit a more viable form of transportation by telling people exactly when the bus is going to arrive. No more waiting at the bus stops. Instead, people know when the bus arrives, they go to the stop and their bus is there. When you talk about how events like ours with mobile food vending and social media can change cities, uh, what we do is we activate spaces that really aren't fully activated all the time. So we go into communities that might have one way, one type of customer base, and we bring enormous foot traffic to locations that might not necessarily get that, that like a different kind of demographic coming to it. Practically, that can transform communities. It is changing the way that we, as a city government, and I think as a society act. Uh, by now having the new digital means of instantaneous communication, it is forcing us as a government, for example, to become much more reactive, uh, much more proactive uh, with our services. Uh, they are breaking down the lines of bureaucracy or hierarchy. Uh, so we're seeing this change very, very quickly.